Hi guys, I'm Darren, and in this video, the answer to a question I got from a viewer, how can you use the red slider for throttle cuts? So let's head over to the workbench. Right, so here we go. Um, this is what they're wanting to use, but it will work with anything like a pot or a slider. We can do the same logic to get the same thing working. I have to say before starting this video, I would highly recommend using a switch for the throttle cut. I'm not a fan of having a slider or something that slows down the reaction to cutting the throttle. It should be an instant thing in my book. It shouldn't be something that is hard to do. The, the throttle cut is there for safety and safety comes before anything else. This is more of a, a tutorial on how to use a sort of linear uh, switch or pot to control something that's on and off. But it will work for throttle cut, it will work for any other type of switch effectively. Well, we may start getting weird sounds because I've actually got it set up to use the, this as my volume. So if we get sounds happening and not happening, that's why. So just a, a little bit of heads up. So the first thing that we're going to do is pop into the model menu and we're going to go over to logic switches. Now, what we're going to do is add a new logic switch and let's call this slider. You can, of course, name it whatever you want. And what we're going to do is set, set the function type to a greater than x or a less than x. Now, it doesn't really matter uh, which way around you do this. It's just purely where you want this switch to be. So if you're going to want it low down, you'll probably go for a less than x. If you want it high up, you'd go for a greater than x. So let's say we want this to be our cut position and then anywhere above about there, it's working. So let's go a less than x. We'll click the button and move our slider which automatically sets the correct pot. You notice that it's actually a pot. So if we use one of these, it will do the same thing. Or if we choose a slider, it will choose that. So just select the uh, interface that you want to use. And now what we're going to do is let's raise the slider a little bit to the position where we want the activation. So if it's lower than this point here, it will activate. Now what we can do is go to the percentage and lower it until it goes off. So it's going to be around, what, 90 something, I guess, with this one. There we go. So it's really close to the bottom, 99. So let's set it at 95 just to make it a little bit easier. So when we get above 95%, it's going to switch off. So you can see moving this is basically now just doing a simple on and off. So let's come back out of this. Now, because the request was for throttle cut, I'll show you that. But like I said, you can use that switch now to do anything. You could actually set multiple areas and use it as a freeway switch. There's, there's a whole host of things you could do with it. But let's pop back in the mixer and go to throttle. And you see we have an active condition already on this switch for throttle cut. So when it's towards me, it's cutting. When it's away, it's not. All we're going to do is change that to our logic switch and we're going to set it to our slider. So you can see all the way down, the throttle is cut. When I raise it up, it's now active. So there you go. That's how you turn a linear control into a switch. In this case, for a throttle cut, but as I mentioned, please try and keep your throttle cut on an actual switch. It makes it much easier to cut the throttle in case of an emergency. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please remember to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe and bell icon to help get this video out to more people too, so they can learn how to do this. Thank you very much for watching guys. Flying models like you stole them and I'll see you on the next one.